Yes, thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel, Sports 70 GH. It's always a great, great pleasure to have you join us. Thank you very much for staying with us. In this video, we are going to look at the African Cup of Nations draw 2025. African Cup of Nations qualifiers draw. It is going to come on tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Just tomorrow, July 4th, we are going to talk to you about that. Mohammed Kudus, <laughs> Saudi Arabia, no? Um, it's becoming a lot of issues and other things. We are going to talk to you about that also in this video. And then we will look at some other stories. Ghana versus Japan coming on. Yes, Ghana versus Japan. Yes. The proper national team of the nation is going to play. Yes, the proper national team. Right now, the Black Stars, they are trying to redeem themselves. But the proper national team of the nation is going to play and um, ghana versus japan is going to come on and then also we will look at some other stories in this particular group and um, video video do want to subscribe to the channel like this video hit the notification bell and select all leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying with us now hmm. oh charlie the african cup of nations 2025 draw is going to come on the qualifiers okay so this one is not the main tournament draw it's the qualifiers draw so if ghana finds itself in a certain group uh, we are going to play qualifiers for the afcon if you are able to top the group or you are able to be second in the group then you will qualify to the african cup of nations 2025 which will be played in morocco from the 18th of december to um somewhere january all right yes yeah, so 2025 african cup of nations draw that is going to come on and um, it is going to start in september 2024 we are, uh, that's when we are going to start playing but then tomorrow at the draw we will see john michael obi didier droba we will see sadio mani and then of course um ashraf hakimi yes these four players are notably the players who are going to be conducting the draw for the whole of africa so tomorrow we are going to know the group black stars is going to find itself for the african cup of nations draw i remember the last time we were in a group with angola central african republic ghana ourselves and then i think zimbabwe too oh yes one of the other uh, yeah and then we qualified together with Angola. We qualified to the African Cup of Nations. Um, so we are going to see the group Ghana gets and whether or not we are able to go. Um, we will be able to qualify or not. Ghana versus Japan is coming on in this month of July. The proper national team of the nation is going to play, which is the Black Queens. For some time now, they've been giving us some very sweet, scintillating football. Yes, Coach Nora Habtel's team. They have arrived in Ghana. In fact, they've started their preparations for the friendly game versus Japan. That's going to come on. It's going to be a very, very tough game. We hope that the Black Queens will give us some, some fantastic game goals and um, everything. Excitement from the game. All right. So the players, you know, they've been arriving. But if you see the Ghana Black Stars and Black Queens players, Masa, what is beauty? Beauty is what? Beauty, Ankasa, is what? Maza, and my footballers, look at how beautiful they are. Just look at, you are, they're not beautiful. You are, look at that. Oh, my goodness. My goodness, Black Queens, you are beautiful. Not to all of you. Not to all of you. Chale, 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 chale. Oh, chale. <laughs> yes, the Black Queens are very beautiful, and they are going to play a friendly game versus Japan. Evelyn Bedou, Prinsla, Dobia, Doris Bodua, and the rest, and the rest. A lot of Ghana Black Queens players um, over there. Now, by way of information, Harry and Joselle grab Paris Olympic tickets. That's Harry Stacy and Joselle Mensa will represent Ghana at the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris through wild card entries. Harry will compete in the 100 meters freestyle, and Joselle will participate in the women's 50 meters freestyle. So, two swimmers going to participate for Ghana in the um, paris olympic games son 
of Ghana legend Matthew Amwa signs first professional contract with Feyenoord in Netherlands. Ghana legend Matthew Amwa witnessed the heartwarming moment of his son Matthew Amwa Jr. signing his first professional contract with Dutch giant Feyenoord today. The 15-year-old attacker um from the final academy signed an agreement which will keep him at the club until mid 2027 i am super proud to have signed my first contract with final i have been playing for the club since the youngest youth and have worked towards his um this wonderful moment all these years next season i want to take the next step in my development and i hope to be important for my team again by giving assists and scoring goals. Amwa started a football career with the amateurs of Baroni from Breda and switched to the final academy at a young age. In the meantime, the attacker has played in all the highest youth teams um, and will play for final under 17 um, and and will play for final under 17 after the summer break. Amwa Jr. was named academy player of the month in april the 15 year old striker is the son of matthew amwa who moved from ghana to netherlands in 1998 and played for clubs such as vitesse fortuna citad neck brother and sc hand riven amwa senior um, made a big impact at him and brother at Vitesse, he scored 68 times in 131 matches. And for Neck, he scored 57 times in 131 matches. His goals were crucial in Ghana qualifying for their first FIFA World Cup in 2006. So, Matthew Amos son signing for final in a beautiful and fantastic fashion as you've seen over there. Now, Mohamed Kourouz. <laughs> Yes, today Mohamed Kuru's modeled in the new West Ham United JC for the 2024-2025 season. Yes, and it's a beautiful one to behold. Now, as he's modeling in it, it looks like Mohamed Kuru's next season is going to stay at West Ham United. Yeah, he's going to stay together with Jared Bowen and the rest. Yes, he's modeled in the new West Ham United JC. I'm sure because of Kuru's, a lot of Ghanaians are going to um, buy the West Ham United JC Mikra. Maybe I'll get one. Maybe, maybe I'll get one. But then there is another twist in terms of the Saudi Arabia links. <laughs> The Saudi Arabian links right now, Al Hila in Saudi Arabia has also joined the race. They also want to sign Mohamed Kudus. They've joined the race. You know that the first um, club was Al Itihad. Their fans are saying that look, they should get Mohamed Kudus and get uh, Demula Lukman. This time it is Al Hila fans who are calling that look, they still need. You know that Al Hila is the best club in Saudi Arabia. They won the league. And the King's Cup, which is their FA Cup in Saudi Arabia. So they are winning everything. They are beating Cristiano Ronaldo and Asai and the rest to win everything. So if Kudus can join them, it will be good. But then we don't really know the details of the Al Hilal contract, whether it's going to be better than the one it is rumored that Al Itiad is going to give him or not. But that is the situation at hand. And um, the news is that Mohamed Kudus, um, Al Hilal, is also entering the race. To sign the player from West Ham United. We already brought you the news yesterday that his release clause of 85 million pounds is still is not available again anymore. It's not available anymore. So if you want to purchase the player, you have to go to West Ham United, communicate with them, and ensure that you come to a conclusion um, in terms of the fee to pay, and then you pay for that particular fee over there. So that's the situation with Mohamed Kuros. As we bring you all the updates on this channel, Sports Seven GH, do what subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell, and select. Oh, I'm definitely going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.